This is Matt. CB Hudson. We're with Blue October for AMFM Magazine. We basically, one night in the back of a tour bus, uh, about four years ago, somewhere on the East Coast, it's kind of blurry, you know, Matt and I had a, had a couple beers, and I was taking notice to his producing skills. Uh, he's starting to make a pretty national buzz for himself uh, in, in terms of producing, and I've always wanted to own a recording studio. We just started kicking it around. Hey, man, let's, let's, let's build a studio in Austin. Let's just do it. So it started out as looking for property that had existing structures. We'd go in, we're like, ah, this isn't quite it, this isn't quite it. And then all of a sudden it just, it just clicked, hey man, let's just build a studio. And we got in touch with Mark Ginfin of Acoustic Spaces, who's a great designer. And our vision became a reality. We didn't want to just be another studio. We wanted to have something unique to offer. The first thing that comes to mind, of course, is being built from the ground up to be a recording studio and not being a converted you know, building. Um, and then the second thing is that a lot of studios um, are built by you know engineers, producers, or businessmen. We're musicians first and foremost. We're we're people that spend our lives in recording studios, and so we thought, well, if we're going to come to Austin and we're gonna we're gonna build something special and we're gonna make something unique, let's take our let's take everything that we learned about all these other places we've been in and let's make the perfect place out of it. You know, we have ocean ways, and those are really hard to come by. We actually had a very a world renowned act in here a few days ago, and his engineer was super excited to use those. Um, yeah. yeah, we had uh, Justin Bieber in here, and his engineer, uh, actually one of the guys that was with him, was really happy to have those. You know, he was just like, ocean waves, oh my God, I love these things. You know, I've worked on, I, I have a pair of these in, in one other place, and I've worked on them, and I love working on them. And uh, that's, that's a very unique feature here, that we have a great console with our SSL, an amazing room, great staff. The, the piano is a 1938 Steinway, and it sounds absolutely amazing. I mean, we, we, we actually went to, a, uh, to Concordia University. They had a huge sale from a lot of colleges across the country that actually brought all their pianos there for a benefit. Uh, and we had a pianist with us, and he, we, we walked around literally like 100 different pianos he played. And we just kept coming back to this, and we narrowed it down between this one and another one. And... There was just something special about it. it. Just the sound, the way it played, and, and we made our decision. We brought that here. And like he was saying about the ocean waves, we met with Alan Sides in, in L.A. personally and sat down and demoed the ocean wave speakers. They're the, the HR2s. Um, and literally, I mean, like a tear came to my eye when I was listening. They're, they're, they're the most beautiful they built amazing. speakers. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful. Um, and having, having Justin Bieber here on Monday, little Wayne – was in here recording on Friday night. Um, it's, it's just cool that we were creating a buzz and, and capturing some national attention. We are definitely going with the flow. You know, we're not we're not trying to force anything. We want we want it to be a combination of us reaching out and creating awareness, but people also finding us. But at the same time, our vision has never been just to be a recording studio. It's never been just to be a commercial facility, a really nice place. You know, this is for us. We love being here in Austin, and we love all the talent here, and we love just the writers and the, the camaraderie and the, the musicianship. And we just, we want to we wanna have something to offer. We want to have something. We want to be part of that community. And I feel like in the next year, like, our mission is to make our presence known and to become, to become that place, you know, or at least one of those places where people feel like, they're going to get not only their money's worth, but they're going to go and they're going to walk out with an amazing experience. And they're not going to have a half-ass recording. They're not going to walk out and go, well, th you know, i got to edit this and doctor this and doctor that. They're going to go in and go, I went into a real studio and I got a real room with real instruments and I walked out and I couldn't be more proud of what I have. In, in, a, a, in a different phase of our business plan is eventually we want to set up a record label. And we want to offer artists like kind of like spec deals. I mean, it, it's so tough these days for artists, you know, especially that have no budgets or just beginning. They don't have the budget to make a real product to, to shop to major labels. And, and we're hoping to, to take some of these artists in and go, listen, we're going to make you a great product that you can shop to majors and, and just help them out, you know, and, and do some sort of spec deal. I don't know how we would structure it, but just we're, we're here to help artists, to be honest with you. Yeah.